exercise 4.2 question number 2 first part john and jivanti together have 45 marbles both of them lost 5 marbles each and the product of the number of marbles they now have is 124 we would like to find out how many marbles they had to start with first part let the number of marbles john have bx therefore number of jivanti's marble is equal to 45 minus x and after losing 5 marbles number of john's marbles is equal to x minus 5 and number of jivanti's marble is equal to 45 minus x minus 5 which is equal to 40 minus x and it is given in the question that product of their marbles is 124 therefore we have x minus 5 into 40 minus x is equal to 124 which implies x square sorry 40x minus x square minus 200 plus 5x is equal to 124 this implies minus x square plus 5x plus 40x minus 200 is equal to 124 which implies minus x square plus 45x minus 200 minus 124 is equal to 0 this implies minus x square plus 45x minus 324 is equal to 0 which implies x square minus 45x plus 324 is equal to 0 now by using factorization method splitting the middle term we have x square minus 36x minus 9x plus 324 is equal to 0 which implies x into x minus 36 minus 9 into 
x minus 36 is equal to 0 which implies x minus 36 into x minus 9 is equal to 0 therefore x minus 36 is equal to 0 or x minus 9 is equal to 0 that is x is equal to 36 or x is equal to 9 now if the number of John's marble is equal to 36 then number of given this marble will be 45 minus 36 is equal to 9 and if the number of John's marble is equal to 9 then number of given this marble is equal to 45 minus 9 which is equal to 36 now the second part second is a cottage industry produce a certain number of toys in a day the cost of production of each toy was found to be 55 minus the number of toys produced in a day on a particular day the total cost of production was rupees 750 we would like to find out the number of toys produced on that day let the number of toys produced bx therefore cost of production of each toy is equal to rupees 55 minus x and it is given in the question that total production of toys is equal to rupees 750 therefore we'll have x into 55 minus x is equal to 750 which implies 55 x minus x square is equal to 750 which implies x square minus 55 x plus 750 is equal to 0 now by factorization method splitting the middle term we will get x square minus 25 x minus 30 x plus 750 is equal to 0 which implies taking x common 
x into x minus 25 minus 30 into x minus 25 is equal to 0 which implies x minus 25 into x minus 30 is equal to 0 therefore we'll have x minus 25 is equal to 0 or x minus 30 is equal to 0 that is x is equal to 25 or x is equal to 30 hence number of toys will be either 25 or 30.